Hi, my name is uh, Julien Laferriere, and I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So when we uh, when we finished working on Origins, so the the core team, so it's basically the same core team that works on uh, that worked on Origins. Um, you know, we were thinking about okay, now that we're done with Egypt, what we would like to do next, and almost. You know, very, very early in our discussions, Vikings came up. Uh, first of all, they were a fan favorite for a couple of times. You know, we always do those surveys within the community and we know that, you know, our players would love to have a game uh, of Assassin's Creed within the Viking world. And for us, we felt that uh, being able to craft those, those big worlds now, uh, combined with the, the new fight system, um, and the, the RPG mechanics that we have, we felt uh, that could be just a, a great combo to make a game about Vikings. Um, and Vikings themselves, you know, were very inspired by that time period, by these people as well, just to deliver on that fantasy. And we saw the, we saw very immediately a very clear fantasy. You know, we like to joke that Assassin's Creed plus Vikings our job is almost done, you know, <laughs> in terms of direction, you already have some some ideas in your mind, and then our job is to refine and surprise. So we felt like right off the bat, we had a pretty good uh, and exciting mix. Obviously, to, to make a game about Vikings, we really wanted to, to deliver on that fantasy, and every mechanic and every quest and every storyline that we have is kind of driving towards that goal of you know delivering this this ultimate fa viking fantasy and within that realm i must say that i'm personally very excited about the settlement um so this uh, this village you have in the in middle of england that starts kind of you know kind of run down with a few buildings and then as you progress within your story you're going to see that that settlement improving you're going to have new people from your clan joining new services um, so for me, the settlement is kind of a bit of your own, you know, taste of your home country as a Viking that you get to see prosper in England. And I just love the way it ties in with all the systems and all the narrative we have in the game. I think it's a it's a beautiful centerpiece that I'm personally very excited about. And it was also a technical challenge to deliver because everything is, is embedded together. So I think that the payoff also is is really incredible and I'm I'm really proud of this actually. Being on, on this, you know, personally I think it's my uh, it's my fifth Assassin's Creed game and many people in, in the core team and in the team uh, are in the in a similar situation. So obviously we've seen the lore uh, evolve throughout the years and for this game uh, you know, with, with, with Darby McDivitt as the, the narrative uh, director, for example, uh, Raphael Lacoste, so people that have, are used to the franchise and that the fans are used to, um, it was important for us to kind of pay tribute to that lore in a certain way. So there are many, many references to the lore in previous games for players to discover. And there are some mechanics that are directly coming from, you know, the roots of the franchise. So, for example, the social stealth um, the social stealth mechanics, so just the, the ability to, to blend um, with, uh, with the crowd, to be able to kind of blend when you sit on a bench, put your hood on. Um, for me, this is a, just a, a really cool tribute um, to even to, to Assassin's Creed 1. Um, the fact that very early in the game, you will receive uh, your own hidden blade. Uh, so to see the hidden blade back also for me is, is very iconic uh, with the brand. And it reminds me when I when I joined the team on Assassin's Creed 2, um, you know, it was all about the hood, the hidden blade, and being able to blend in a crowd. Um, so you have some of that within within Valhalla, which I find uh, pretty exciting, not only for for us as developers, but also for for fans of the franchise. Uh, on AC, we we like to say that history is our playground, so we we take history. Um, very seriously. So we had many, many experts on uh, the Norse cultures and you know the Norse languages to help us craft a very, very believable world. 
Um, so right off the bat, it was it was very important. We actually traveled to Norway and England uh, to live what the Vikings lived, to see kind of the walk in their path and to kind of understand the world from from their perspective. Um, but also, it's a uh, it's a time period that is not very much documented and where the line of folklore and reality is kind of blurred a little bit so for us as as game devs it's it's an amazing opportunity because it creates kind of gaps when we can fill in with our own lore with our own stories um and it's 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 pretty pretty cool actually so just for example the the demo that we're um we're uh, we're actually releasing now for 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 journalists to play um uh, uh is all about you know viking culture and those legendary warriors being abba and ivar um so these are are characters that come from the norse sagas um so are they real were they historically accurate are they part of, of a legend every kind of viking is you know sometime a historical figure sometime a myth and we like to, to play on those fronts you know like the sons of uh, ragnar lodbrok for example um these are, are historical characters, but that were that their tales and their legend were actually bigger than nature. You know, so we we, we like to play on, on those on those little details. So yeah, obviously we don't want any spoilers, but the the way we um, the way we crafted the game is um, as much as we could. We wanted the player to have as much agency. Uh, as possible so um, everything starts at the settlement so you're at your war table with your lieutenants and then you decide which will be the next territory you will explore uh, hopefully to gain some sort of you know an, an, an alliance or resources to gain something out of that adventure you will about to live but every time we we give we give a choice so which territory you want to tackle first and so on so we have a, a very much um uh, branching way of, of structuring the game, if you want, uh, and for us, it, it's it's cool because it's um, it feeds within that that concept of, of freedom as much as we can. Uh, so obviously, that leads to um, uh, you know different possibilities for players, uh, a different order to play things for players, and also there are um, a lot of. Um, uh, uh, side activities or characters that you will meet that have their own kind of little wrap up as well. So we try to kind of cater um, to players who would like to engage within a you know a set of stories, kind of craft their own path if they can, but having a very strong overarching narrative that we're known for in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, the team, the core team, traveled actually to Norway and England. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't part of the of the trip. My my daughter was starting daycare at the same time, and I decided to be a good father and be be there for her. Uh, and I don't regret that choice at all. But you're right. We we try as much as we can to kind of to live the the Viking culture. You know, whether it's through lectures of experts that we brought to the studio would tell you know tales of vikings and we actually work with jackson crawford who translated the poetic edda um and uh, or just like simple things like uh, everyone on their team have have uh, their own glass with skull written on it so it's kind of our own motto you know like uh, which is cheers and old norse um we uh, we actually decorated a room uh, full of Viking uh, elements, so fur, swords, uh, armor, helmets, and so on, just to be to be inspired while we were doing the, the conception of the game. Um, a lot of uh, any time we find uh, interesting references, so we have an historian working with us full time who writes those you know beautiful articles and creates all references that he sends to to the whole team. Um, so it, and it was important for us to to understand where these people were coming from you know so as we're not necessarily uh, interested in uh, the big historical facts that anybody can get we were more interested on okay but 
how are they really living you know like how were they hunting how are they brewing mead for example how the the long boats were really constructed that sort of stuff why were they invading why were they pillaging uh, to try to find the human motivations behind that and try to depict them as as much as we can as normal people with motivations you know uh, and not mindless barbarians <laughs> Anyone should play Assassin's Creed Valhalla to live the ultimate Viking fantasy. Uh, so whether you're a fan of the franchise uh, for a long time, or uh, you're really interested about this time period that we're depicting, um, I think anyone playing this game will have an awesome experience, hopefully. 